Hello everybody, Be Still Voice Works here. Just wanted to talk today about something that's been heavy on my heart. Wanted to talk to you about parenting and specifically wanted to talk to you about how you influence your children and what that could mean for you and your children's futures together as a family. It's come to my attention that there are several people in the world, my family was one of them, that believe if they control and manipulate a child, that that child will grow up to be the way that they want them to be, and that child will be there to perform or do whatever it is that the parent needs or wants from the child. Unfortunately, what these parents do not realize is that when you're born, you may learn some things from people in your life. You may be influenced. The things they say and do might become part of the paradigm of your life. They may influence you on a neurological level in the future, your, your quirks, your triggers, things like that. That is an influence that will stick. But every child, when they're born, they are who they're going to be, no matter what. No matter what you do to them, they will always be the same inside. The only difference is whether or not there are several layers of uh, walls that that child may have to go through when they get older in order for the expression that is themselves to fully manifest itself exteriorly. On the exterior. Sorry, that's strange. So, no matter how much you lie to a child or manipulate a child, they will eventually uncover the truth. It says in the Bible, all that is hidden will become made manifest, which means everything that is hidden will come to light one day. So, if you're telling your child lies in order to promote something, they will know, and it will backfire on you terribly. For instance, if you have two parents who get a divorce, and both of them love their children very much, or so it would seem, but if one parent is trying their absolute best to love a child and to be in their lives and to speak with them each night on the phone, things like that, you know, just anything that that parent can do to be a good, positive influence, a stable influence in their child's lives. But the other parent decides to force that to not exist. So one parent goes around telling all of their friends, Oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm the greatest, and my ex is this and that. They're the worst. And then they try to make the children believe it, too. It's easy to manipulate the social network online. All you have to do is make something up, and everyone says, Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Oh, your ex is terrible, abusive. But the child goes over, and they don't experience this. They, they feel love. They don't get any trouble. They don't have anything bad happen to them. They get told how much they're loved and they're hugged on and cuddled on and love letters written to them. They know deep in their heart that the parent absolutely loves them. But then they go home and they're told that parent does not love you. That parent is this or that. That parent is lying about this or that. Meanwhile, the kids are being told lies right then and there. And as they age, they start to pick up on little things. See, when you're young, someone says red is blue, well, you believe them because you don't know anything. Red might be blue. But as you get older, you clearly know that red is red. And if you start to pay attention, you'll notice that blue is also blue and purple is also purple. But parent A says purple is red on Tuesdays and green on Wednesdays. I don't understand, something's not right. And they start to piece it together, little by little, until they build an opinion for themselves, which is what human beings do when they become adults. So, I hereby warn all of you parents, every single lie you've ever told will become made manifest to your child. And if you want to have any type of relationship with your children in the future, you best uh, treat them a little better. It'd be nice if you treated them as a friend while still maintaining safe, guidelines and boundaries in the home, but do you want your child to tell you when they've had sex for the first time? Do you want your child to tell you when they've been harmed by someone or when a stranger has approached them? Well, if you're lying to them all the time and making them feel bad for loving someone and making them feel like the only position you hold in their lives is as the authority figure, they will never tell you anything. What's the point? 
I'm going to get in trouble if I tell my parent. So, be kind to your children. Tell them the truth. Make sure that they know it's okay to love the other parent if that's the situation that you're in. Whether or not you hate the other person, your child loves them. They have not had the same experiences as you have, and uh, it's their right to love the other parent. It's their right to make phone calls to the other parent. It's their right to have love and connection and a relationship with both families equally. And whichever party decides to remove more of that, whichever way the scale tips, it will be opposite one day. I promise you. So, my lesson today from Be Still Voice Works is parenting. Show love, compassion, and allow your children to love whoever they want to love within reason, of course. You know, if they love a serial killer, that's different. But just wanted to say that, guys, and I hope you guys have a great day. I love you. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands, but don't give in to too much control. Bye. Love you.